hello everyone welcome to my video and in this video i am just going to talk about the logic apps what is the azure logic apps what are the various features and why we should use the logic apps so quickly just going to start with the logic apps and i am just going to create the resource for the logic apps if you do not know how to create uh, the logic apps i would like to request go to the azure uh, portal and from here there is these many icons will come from here you can create a resource but if you are starting azure for the very first time there are many other channel including me where you can learn the basic what is resource and resource group and there you can start so quickly jumping to create a logic apps so all you need to do you need to search logic apps here logic apps and you can go ahead and select it click on create you need to select a subscription if you have already subscription then it will automatically come you need to select your resource group here you will if you do not have a resource group first you need to go to how to create a resource group this video is already available in my channel you can go and watch you can put any name so i'm just putting cloud box logic app i hope it should take yeah this option are giving workflow or docker container so workflow is nothing but uh, architecture kind of uh, stuff where one step will be connected to other step but we are not going to choose it because why if we will choose a standard then this facility will available but i would highly request if you are just doing it for uh, the learning part do not choose a standard go to the uh, consumption so what it means it means the services which you are using that only you are going to pay otherwise you are not going to charge so the reason it's telling central us so we are from india and just select the nearest region or it's per your choice you always need to select the nearest location where your data is located so we are good and the moment you see it, there will be no log analytics will come so we need to uh, keep in mind that if you are selecting the consumption then this facility will not available the moment you will select standard this will come and you can choose it okay so we'll go to the next we can give any uh, tag name if you think so but for me i'm keeping it blank let's uh, validation get passed soon it will pass and we are good to create uh, the logic apps but at the moment it is taking time so let's uh, wait for a minute or so yeah it's created so when create so the moment it is getting deployed so <clears throat> first open our data factory if you do not know how to create a data factory that video is also have posted just go and watch it so what is the thing here we need to create a pipeline and in the pipeline if it executes uh, uh, successfully then we should receive a email and for any of the reason if it is not execute, uh, executing for uh, that reason also we should receive a email so i'm just giving a name for my pipeline so pl underscore copy files basically that is good enough and we'll take a copy activity okay so first publish this change and i hope it could be uh, so it is asking for the data source so let remove it for now go to the logic apps it is already created 
this video may be uh, get long because I will cover logic apps end to end so this is a good concept after watching this you would be able to implement the logic app so this is quite some it is taking some time but yeah it is coming here we do not have anything present here so we need to go to the logic app a designer option here So there is the basic video available how to start with the logic app this is directly posted on YouTube and this YouTube URL is here present so you can there is a lot of things when a message receive in a service bus queue when HTTP request is received when a new tweet is posted I mean these many things there are a lot of things you can do with this okay you can create your uh, logic app that would be create a blank logic app you can delete your old blob storage http response these many things so for this one we are going to hit a rest api what we want we want like our pipeline execution get notified over email so for that we are we need to pass a http url and there we can see the results for that i am just going to click on this icon the moment you will click it this window will be open so we can write here in the json format but i will hardly i will 100% sure that we are not going to write in this because why it needs some uh, uh, schema validation so we need to use a sample payload okay inside the sample payload we need to write our on schema i mean on schema it will be created so we need to write our own uh, things inside the json if you do not know how to write json it is very simple first you need to give the name so and then after each value will be separated by comma inside the uh, curly bracket so what we need we want our uh, adf name that is the data factory name let's give the data factory name so it will be easier for you data factory name second will be our pipeline name okay i hope it is good i told separated by comma yeah comma is present and the third one is status so for status and it is ending so we do not need to put the so everything is fine you need to click it done and you when the moment you done it you see this schema validation got automatically created by microsoft so that is fine uh, we have created at this point after this one we need to click on the next step so this is a very uh, unique thing that you can connect hell lot of uh, services here like we will go to all you will just uh, scroll and you will see like hell lot of uh, services you can control line in line code service by sql uh, server azure uh, functions so many things so we need to, to send the mail so for at the moment i am just searching outlook i have an account in outlook you can also create uh, send mail through gmail so i am just connecting with outlook you can uh, search with so there are a lot of services like you want to either you want to create an account create event delete contact delete mail flag email forward and so many things so here we there would be one option send an email we will click on that and if you are doing it for first time and also i'm doing it for first time so it will ask for the sign in so just go and click on the sign in button it will ask for the authentication and approval so it, i have already logged in so it will allow if you not then you need to put your sign in and password yeah 
so it is asking basically a third party application is accessing so you can give it yes because yeah that is that is email structure got uh, uh, created here and uh, we need to send the mail to uh, a, a person so we can write the mail here uh, suppose you have a, a group of mail set up so that you can directly put so all the individual person will receive so for me i'm just uh, writing my own mail and uh, okay so either you can uh, dynamic uh, content that is not a static if you want to uh, runtime pass it that you can also do it uh, now we want uh, a subject line shouldn't be static because uh, timing could vary pipeline name could change so we want like uh, we want uh, a dynamic uh, content here so what we need to do we need to click here add the dynamic uh, content and uh, you can see this expression so the, this expression if you have already used the data factory so you know how to use it so inside that you can concat two strings that what concat function do apart from this you can do many things so we want our uh, subject line could be a pipeline name and uh, with two days date we want okay so what is the two days date so for that reason we need to go again here we need to select the, the pipeline so you need to only select the pipeline and rest thing will be done by the azure itself so you need to concat two things but we want a, a kind of a, a separator so it will be easier to look and it will be good to understand and they want with two days date so we have a utc now function uh, okay you, the moment you uh, select it we have a utc now function and uh, you need to uh, validate like this way i will show you if you do not know this then no issues but and this whole things we need to uh, okay let me do one thing yeah so this whole thing will come under format date time okay so i hope it should work yeah i hope it should work if not then we'll okay it's saying expression is invalid so concrete body format date time utc now and what mistake i'm doing just uh utc now uh, something i'm doing it one second give me a moment Okay. Yeah. Let me do one thing. Let me remove it. So let me write it from beginning uh, we want a pipeline name and then we want kind of a, a separator and then we want a format date time it should be with current date format date time and inside this we want our uh, today's date function and inside that 
we want customization like in this format it should give date and now it should work yeah so that is the thing the subject line will do like that and uh, here we can write our uh, custom message hi thank you for using azure logic apps here is your details so we want to give the pipeline name so also let's start with the data factory data factory name is and here we want to pass a dynamic content not a static so we quickly come here and we'll select that the moment you will select it it will come like this again your pipeline name pipeline name and uh, just go and select your uh, pipeline name from here and you want third thing status so for the status you click it status okay okay i pipeline name yeah so we are good enough and uh, just uh, save it okay you have saved this just go to data factory and uh, you just go to copy activity you just go to copy activity and inside copy activity you need to create a data set what is data set if you do not know i have shown you in the video so we need i am creating a sample data set that is the static one so you can i am just giving any name link services also have not created so i i've shown you everything so you can go and watch how to do it in this video if i'll show you again and explain then it will be very long so i need to select the storage account name and i have to select any of the subscription but it's okay it's showing no okay student for all i will select that just go and quickly test connection it should work connection successful you will go and create it so link services you created now you need to a data set you will pick the files from storage and you are going to copy so there is one file present already that i am uh, uh, selecting and you need to click ok and for the sync you need to select a different data set because if you have not uh, 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 parameterize it so you just go and select it click on csv again you need to give the data set ds underscore output i'm giving and you need to select the same link services first row as a header so header will come and the file name is not defined so you need to create one file name output with name and inside output it will be copied so it is not taking so keep it blank as of now and just quickly go to our storage account uh, quickly go to our storage account i'll show you inside landing i have one file present i'll go to back i'll create a, a folder called prep inside prep i will it is blank so what i need to do i'll go to the sync data set i'll open it and i will select prep and done i will publish all the change if you're not uh, publishing so your change will not be reflected so i have done this and the most important thing we need a web activity what this web activity in azure does it's called a http url basically 
and we need to pass the url here and we need to select the method so we'll quickly okay 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 uh, we'll go to logic app again by mistake uh, i have just went to the one we'll go to our designer tab again so we have already uh, saved our stuff there so we have two things you can see it right and uh, we have uh, done this like this so we'll click here we'll click on the first step we'll see this url this url will come we need to copy this url inside uh, this web activity url and method it is asking so we do not know what is method it you can see http post url this is reflecting here so we need to select the post method we need to select the post method and now here it will ask the body message so the body message what we can give we can select these all things we can paste it but let me tell you let me quickly open notepad plus plus it will be easier we simply copied it we need uh, data factory name we need uh, these also we do not need we'll removing this we need uh, status and we need to remove all this thing okay so we are good enough so we'll paste it here but let me one thing one thing uh, what is the data factory name the data factory name is cloud data factory so we'll paste it here we'll paste it here separated by comma it's pipeline name it is asking it is asking for this pipeline name so we'll give this pipeline name okay and the next thing it is asking about is status so status is hard coded so we'll give successful okay uh, so let's just copy and paste it and publish the change publish the change now the moment it is getting published let me rename it so it would be easier success message so now it is once you are going to run this pipeline and your file getting copied from the landing folder to the uh, prep folder so you will get a alerts with a different customization so just quickly run this debug you can either uh, trigger it now or you can just click in debug and it will execute so let us see whether uh, we are able to copy or not and also uh quickly op i'm opening my mail also so we can see whether we have received the mail or not so both things got copied and just go to the storage account also just go to the storage account and uh, we'll see whether our file got copied or not but according to this our activity got successful so we have copied from landing to prep right so we see there this got copied 
So just quickly. So data got copied and let me see why we have not received the mail. Let us see. Okay. Go to the geology apps. Okay, we <laughs> said we have given the wrong mail. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, I'm really sorry, but it may happen, but it's fine. Okay, so I'll put my Gmail also so we can see like. Uh, We can see like on the both mail it's going. Okay, just come outside and save it. It's saved. Now again run it. I was like, why it is uh, not going? So the domain name itself has a spelling mistake. Now uh, again uh, this activity I'm just uh, repeating and. Uh, now see whether we have received or not yeah thankfully we have received it yeah so hi thank you for using azure logic apps here is your details data factory name it is coming like that way we have done it azure data factory copy activity is coming i mean uh, the pipeline name over here also some mistake that is fine the status it is coming so that is fine completely uh, yeah yeah, I'm not good enough like that way this is showing but yeah good so that one part is completed and also we'll see in the gmail whether we have received or not so for gmail we'll open it but now this is one message suppose someone is saying like our activity got failed so in that case also we can, could do it so just write it here fail activity uh, whatever you want to give okay and uh, you need to connect here you need to click on plus icon you need to click on the failures and the same thing you need to copy and paste that url is still same because we haven't changed anything you need to select the post method here and inside that we need to pass this value so suppose instead of successful it would be fail fail okay and you just publish it and and let me see on gmail whether we have to see yeah we see it here right okay dd it is uh, in capital and uh, okay so we need to check it the we'll uh, correct the format no issues so let me let it um, uh, publish yeah so it got successful and suppose whether a, a person told like we want okay the first thing right that uh, date and that format okay we'll correct it so it should be uh, okay that's the reason now uh, that's the wrong format i've used it but it's happened uh, yeah it happens uh, uh, many times again that's mm yeah i hope it is good now i need to update it i need to save it so now suppose uh, 
this activity got failed. This is the symbol. If you attach it, it will give. Suppose I just I am uh, forcing. I am just uh, doing uh, manually failing this. Okay. So for that, uh, just opening the data set, I am just giving this uh, file path which is not existing. So now once I uh, uh, publish it. And now, if I'm just going to uh, run uh, the pipeline, so let's see what is happening. Okay. Quickly, we'll go and run it. So the first activity will fail, and this fail activity will execute because we have attached it. If it is going to fail, then execute this. So. It got failed and now this is executing fail activity and this activity will not execute. So this activity got successful, right? Again, we'll go to our email and uh, let's see for the fail we have received or not or also our uh, the date thing. Yeah. So good, we have uh, received with the pipeline name and with the today's date, right? So now status is failed. So I hope uh, I just uh, cleared this and this also you can see uh, what other persons are also there. So on the Gmail also you just go back and refresh it and you see with the exact date and time you received it. So I hope you can utilize the logic apps in your uh, project uh, whether your uh, uh, pipeline is getting uh, uh, successful or not. I hope I was uh, this was a really interesting video and uh, Thank you uh, so much for uh, watching my video.